friends! Hello! Hi! How are you? I hope you guys are having an amazing day today. So today, we are going to be doing a Tutorial Tuesday. Um, I feel like I have to stop calling them Tutorial Tuesdays because they're not really tutorials anymore. They're just like, catch up with me. <laughs> this is basically like, let's talk about my week. Um, but today, we're going to be doing a look with the ColourPop Ooh La La palette. Ooh la la. No. I basically just was like, I really had a vision. I was driving in the car <laughs> on the way to see Kiki Delivery Service with my boyfriend because Fathom Events was doing like a thing and you can go see it in theaters. So we went to go see the movie and I was driving in the car and I had this like vision in my head of this really beautiful pink and like white gold halo eye. And I just had this vision and I was like, I have to see this through. And I knew I was filming this tonight, so I was like, I wanna use a pink palette. And I haven't actually done a Trill Tuesday with this palette yet, even though I've had it for a while. This is the Ooh La La palette from ColourPop. She's been out for a while. She came out because, I think it was like Mean Girls Day. I don't know, ColourPop is so trendy, I can't keep up. But I did wanna use that today. My sweater, oh my God, okay. I got this sweater and it says, Sorry, my hair. It says, you are enough. And it has a little rainbow. And I love it. I got it from a brand. Hold on. I didn't, they didn't send it to me. I bought it. But I want to promote it because they're actually like a mental health awareness brand that sells hoodies. And I think they're really, really cute. They're called Self Care Station. I'll link this sweater down below. But they have a bunch of other like really cute sweaters too. I just loved it. I was kind of expensive. So I was a little bummed because normally I wouldn't pay this much for a hoodie. But I think some of the proceeds do go to like mental health charities. So I was on board with it. But I wanted to share this with you guys because I thought it was a really cool little company I stumbled upon <laughs> and I wanted to share it with you guys. So let us zoom in and uh, get started. If I look insanely yellow, um, I used a new powder today. I'm not sure how I'm liking it. I placed an order recently at e.l.f. just to like try out some new stuff from them because I haven't used e.l.f. in a long time and I got the putty primer which is looking beautiful, but I also got their concealer, which I hated, um, and a few other things. And one of them, I got like a gift. I got like two free gifts, and one was a free powder, and it was yellow, and I used it all over my, anyway, you don't care. Um, I'm gonna first go into this shade Soft Core, this kind of pinky shade. I feel like with halo eyes, they're fun, because you can just be kind of sloppy. Like, it doesn't have to be super perfect. I really just wanna like sloppily throw this in my crease with a fluffy brush. So how's everyone's week? <laughs> Mine's been, actually was so fun. Um, So, well, it was started off not fun, but then my weekend was really fun. So I'll tell you about my weekend. So basically my mom and I, my mom called me like a few months ago. We both love the show Crazy Ex-Girlfriend. I haven't seen the last season. No spoilers, okay? You promise me <laughs> there's gonna be no spoilers. But we love the show Crazy Ex-Girlfriend. We like, bond I got her into it because I was watching it and she like sped up and watched it all before me. Anyway, um, so we both love it and she called me a few months ago and she was like, oh my God, the Crazy Ex-Girlfriend tour is coming to Montreal and she's in Vermont for the summer. They actually, so my parents like sold my childhood home. They didn't know where they were gonna go. So they're renting a house up in Vermont just to like hang, they love Vermont, so let's just like hang out. And they're just doing that and they finally found a new house. So it was like really exciting. And it was my mom's birthday a few days ago. And so she called me and she was like, do you want to go see the crazy ex-girlfriend tour in Montreal? It's like two hours from my house because I'm in Vermont now. And I was like, oh my God, amazing. So we got the tickets and we decided to go together for like a little like mother-daughter trip, which we haven't done in so long. So it was really fun. I'm going to go in with Poodle and again, just kind of sloppily throw that in the crease. Um, this is kind of just to get a base for the really bright color, which is Sandbar. I don't like to go in immediately with the super bright colors. I like to give it a minute. One thing I will note that is different than I do in normal tutorials, I normally keep most of the focus on my outer corner when I'm doing like a normal look, but when I do a halo eye, I really make sure even with these base colors to get, I said this wasn't gonna be a tutorial and it's like a tutorial. Um, I really make sure to get them in good, like on my inner corner as well, really blend it well in there because then it helps later on. Um, so anyway, so she was like, do you wanna go? And I was like, yes. And then she called me later in that week and she was like, this was like months ago and she was like can charles come up and help your dad with some stuff like just stuff around the house like stuff preparing for their new house whatever like built boy i don't know um and so i was i asked him and he okayed it he was fine with it whatever so fast forward to now things change so because they like put an offer in on this house they like bought this house uh, my dad actually had to leave vermont that weekend and go do the like 
the what's it called the, when they walk the inspection he had to go make sure the house wasn't gonna like burn down in five minutes after they bought it so that he had to go do that so my family was like Charles can you stay in the Vermont house and watch the dogs because my parents have two dogs I'll get into the dogs in a second the dogs are horrific they're not they're amazing but like they're awful so um they were like can you stay in Vermont with the dogs well we go me and my mom go to Montreal and my dad goes to take care of the house stuff and Charles was like of course because he doesn't care <laughs> as long as he can bring video games with him like he does not care what he's doing we leave me and my mom go to Montreal and I just want to explain because I feel like this story is a couple of parts because I have to explain what happened to Charles so me and my mom leave I'm gonna go into sandbar and I'm gonna take one of these like dense brushes and what I'm really gonna do is focus it pack it in only on this part of my eye and only on the inner corner and I'm gonna leave this middle part no color added so um we <laughs> right when we like left like probably like 15 20 minutes after we left Charles called me like four times and I didn't answer because I was driving and then he called my mom and he was like I need help and I was like what and he's like nobody told me the dogs couldn't go upstairs here's the thing about my dogs these are like my childhood dogs okay so their names are Daisy and Baxter they're adorable like Daisy is this little tiny white dog she's like tiny and white and furry and like whatever and Baxter is a basically a mix between a beagle a hot dog dog and a greyhound no not a greyhound basset hound um so he is hysterical looking because he's very fat he's huge he's probably like 40 to 45 pounds but he also his legs are about this big so he's very low to the ground so he's just a funny looking dog you know they're just like not the brightest <laughs> and i'll explain so he calls my mom and he's like nobody told me that the dogs couldn't go upstairs they're upstairs of the house now and they can't get down <laughs> and I guess like while my parents have been living there they've been staying on the first floor so nobody's had like a need to really go upstairs but the dogs decided while Charles was in the shower that they were gonna go upstairs and then he couldn't get them down so Baxter who's the great the, ba the basset hound one the low to the ground one <laughs> like Charles like we're calling him and we're like instructing him we're like okay like you know pick up Daisy because Daisy legitimately couldn't do the stairs because she has a lot of issues like she only likes my mother she is like attached to the head to my mother anyone who's not my mother she just like shakes when they hold them she's very anxious she's got a lot of anxiety issues Daisy's a mess so my mom is like just hold her while you go down the stairs and Baxter will go down like in front of you if you go down so we're on the phone with him and all of a sudden I hear Charles be like Baxter no and he like got off the phone for a second I could hear him wrestling around and I was like what happened and he's like he's like Baxter just fell down the stairs Baxter literally because his legs are so little he couldn't get down the stairs so his legs just gave out and he just like slooshed down the stairs <laughs> picturing this makes me laugh so hard he just like slooshed down the stairs on his stomach and Charles was like horrified and he was just like oh my god and my mom was like no he's fine like she's laughing because she's a pep she's been a real parent she's been a pet parent like she knows when to be worried she wasn't worried she was like that's hysterical um and every then we hung up with him like everything should have been fine right so he calls us like probably an hour later and he's like hi me again uh Baxter but Charles is such a troop Charles literally doesn't care like he's such a trooper he really like this stuff doesn't really bother him at all it's just hysterical to me that like of course this happened to him the one he's only dog sitting for literally less than 24 hours and this is all that happens so then he calls us and he's like and nobody's there <laughs> and he's like hey um I don't want to alarm you guys but Baxter definitely like just puked everywhere <laughs> Baxter like I guess sometimes my mom said that's normal I'm just taking a clean brush and just blending this out I guess that's kind of normal is I guess he just pukes I guess dogs just pukes him. I don't know maybe he has like acid reflux I don't know but so he puked and Charles had to clean it up and he didn't know where any of the stuff was it was just a mess and then <laughs> Charles sent me a picture again Daisy the little dog she is just she just has so much anxiety like she's just I feel bad for her, honestly because her life must be so confusing but Daisy like saw my mom leave out of the front door that we left out of that morning and then for the rest of the day just for like literally for like four hours she just sat in front of that door I'll insert the picture looking sad and Charles went over there and tried to like comfort her he tried to pick her up and bring her to her dog bed he tried to like do she literally would just go immediately back to the door and sit in front of the door and be sad and so finally my mom after hours of this my mom was like why don't you try opening the door and seeing if she'll like see that I'm not there and then come back and then be okay and then she was once she knew my mom 
wasn't behind that door, Charles was like, she was totally fine. Um, so that's my dogs and my poor boyfriend who had to deal with my dogs. They're a mess. So <laughs> they're adorable though. Like I love them so much, but they are a freaking mess. Um, so then, while that was all happening to poor Charles, my mom and I were in Montreal and we were actually having like a super good time. I'm gonna go in with this shade Caddy, which is this true purple color. And I'm just gonna deepen up pink a little so it's not as bright, but I really wanna try to keep most of the pink in there. So it's, I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna really tap it off and go in with like a light hand. Cause I just wanna like slightly define the crease. I don't want it to be like purple now. I still want it to be pink. Does that make sense? So my mom and I were in Montreal and we actually had a really good time. It was like a short trip, but we had a lot of fun and we just like hung out, but it was so funny cause we're driving up there and I had like printed out the tickets before I left my house in Rochester and I read the tickets and it was like, <laughs> It said it was for this like comedy festival and I was so confused because I was like are we seeing like the crazy like the crazy ex-girlfriend tour like the people singing and like everybody like they all dance and like do songs from the show and I was so confused but it just said like Rachel Bloom at the comedy festival Rachel Bloom is like the, the lead in this the crazy ex-girlfriend show and so I get to my mom and I'm like mom I'm like is this like a tour she was she didn't know either but I guess it was just like Rachel Bloom the lead character I guess it was just her comedy show like it was just her like stand-up comedy show thingy and so after that happened and I didn't care because I went into this with no expectations like I was just like whatever um so after I found out that it was like a comedy show I really had no idea what I was walking into she was so funny if you ever have the chance to don't bring your mom because it's kind of awkward at some points with your mom she makes a lot of inappropriate jokes that you don't want to laugh at right next to your mom but like she is hysterical she was so so funny. I literally have not laughed that hard in so long. She was so good. All right, I'm gonna go in. I don't know if I should make this even more pink or if I should, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go in with Opulent, which is this bright pink shimmer. And I'm gonna pack this all over the center where I didn't put any color. Oh yeah. And it's kind of fun because if you're a fan of Crazy Ex-Girlfriend, like the show, she does sing songs from that show. I guess she's like the co-writer and like something of that show. She's fantastic. She was so good. I loved her. Also, I follow her on Instagram now and she's hysterical. That was really fun. But on the way back after the show, there was this like, Com it was part of a comedy festival that was like a street fair. First of all, if you live in Montreal, God bless you because the traffic because of all of the construction was horrific. Also, um, there was this like street fair going on for the like show we had just seen. Like it was a comedy festival where they had all these big comedians coming in and there was a street fair because of that. And so we were like, oh, like let's check out the street fair and let's just like see what the deal is. So I'm gonna take Big Sugar, this other pink shimmer, and I'm gonna pat that on the sides of where I put the really bright magenta color. And so we were like, oh, like, let's check this out. It was fun, like they had a bunch of stuff going on, all these like fun things you could do, like games, whatever. So that was all fun and good. And the thing about me and my mom, we're very similar people in a lot of ways. We both like what we like and don't like. We're pretty much on the same page. We don't like to like go crazy and like do all these things for like hours and hours and hours. Like we like to relax on vacation too which is why I love going on vacation with my mom, because we can just like relax. We don't have to be going, going, going every five minutes, but I'm really liking how this is turning out, but I think I want to deepen the outer corner again. So I am going to take another one of those hard brushes and just basically do the same thing I did before with the purple, but a little bit more intensely, because now that the magenta's in there, it's just looking like a brick of pink, which is not really what I wanted. We finished that, whatever, and we had to get a cab. And so we got a cab and um, the drive from the festival to our hotel should have been like 15 minutes um and it ended up being uh an hour so we got in the cab and i normally we take an uber but for some reason my uber app i'm putting that in the inner corner really good too for some reason my uber app was like no ubers available and i was like that's your job uber and they were like no ubers available so i was like okay so we were like let's just old school it <laughs> let's take a cab so we hopped in a cab whatever and like right away I could tell, and it, this is like no shade, no tea, whatever. I could tell the guy was like messed up on something. Like I could tell. And I like know, I know what it looks like. Like I knew the guy was messed up on something. And so I was already a little stressed, but I was like, okay, like it's not that long of a drive. If it gets too bad, like we'll just get out of the car, like whatever, it's not a big deal. And so I want to preface this story by saying that I like love my mother, but in this situation, I wanted to kill her. So <laughs> I'm going to go in with Tickled, this kind of white pink color, and I'm going to take a really like tall skinny brush and I just want to kind of like put a little bit of like brightness 
right in the center here just to brighten that up give it a little a little spotlight moment so um we're driving and because of all the construction we hit horrible horrible traffic and i finally like we were sitting in the car for like probably half an hour and i looked up the time on my phone and it said we had like 25 minutes left in the car mind you this was supposed to be like a 15 minute journey and our driver is like driving so erratically and crazy which i know some like if you're if you are a taxi driver in the city you're probably used to be driving a little crazy so you can like get where you gotta go but it was still like scary to have someone that i knew was messed up driving like a crazy person and then my mom because she was annoyed i get it like she was annoyed but she just kept like whispering to me like why are we gonna be there why aren't we there yet like like and every time she would say something the driver would start driving more erratically to probably because he wanted like a tip to get us to our destination and finally i looked at her and i was like Tch. <laughs> I was like, you're gonna get us killed. I was so mad. And she got out of the car. She was like, I'm sorry. I was just so frustrated. I was like, Mom, I get it. I was like, But I didn't want to die. <laughs> I was like, You gotta chill. Um, I'm gonna mix pool, poodle and soft, soft core. Mom, I know you're watching this. I love you so much, but you almost killed us. Um, but <laughs> it was actually really funny, though. We, like, laugh about it. It was a good time. We had a lot of fun. We got to see uh, a place. We got to see a place called Old Montreal which if you've never been to Montreal and you are going, you should definitely go to old Montreal because it's beautiful. It looks like a Parisian town. Like it is so pretty. There's like cobblestones and this beautiful big cathedral and like, it's so pretty. We kind of just like walked around, hung out. It was a really, really, really fun time. It was so fun. Okay, I'm going to put, I love how this look turned out. I love pink. <laughs> my favorite color um i'm i don't know if it is actually i don't really know if i have a favorite that's not the point of this video i'm gonna put a mascara and eyeliner and gloss and then i'll come back to you guys for the final thoughts although i don't really i wasn't really reviewing this palette because i've already used it a bunch i like it spoiler alert okay so this is the finished look if it looks a little funky on this side we had a mascara mishap you can see it all over my fingers um so <laughs> i had to fix it so if it looks a little funky i tried my best to fix it but i also didn't try that hard um because it's midnight so <laughs> i also used some of the new elf jelly pop juicy glosses i wanted to try some stuff from the jelly pop collection i was really in an elf i don't know i was in an elf mood anyway this is the final look i'm gonna do a quick little montage uh that i can steal a, a thumbnail for and then we'll zoom out for the end of the video okay So that was going to be the finished look for me today. I actually love how this look turned out. I love playing with pinks because I feel like I always do well with them. Um, they're a very easy color for me to play with. I also feel like this will be a really easy thing to create with any pink shades. You definitely don't need the Ooh La La palette to do this. I think any pink shades you could create something very similar to this. Um, but yeah, how I feel about this, I mean, I love, I freaking love ColourPop. <laughs> they're unproblematic, they're inexpensive, and like their products are dope. Like this is great. I have a bunch of the nine pan palettes now and I freaking love them. This is adorable. It also pairs really well with the purple It's My Pleasure palette. Um, this is a really good palette. <laughs> if you were wondering, <laughs> I do love it. Um, so that's gonna be it for me. Um, I hope you guys like this video. If you did, please like and subscribe or just like or just subscribe or do neither. Honestly, I'm so happy you're watching me. Thank you so much for being here. My merch, my social media, and everything I'm wearing on my face will be linked down below along with a voter registration link. <laughs> That's right. You can register to vote today via my link. If you're an American citizen and you want to have a voice in this next election, I implore you to consider to register to vote because I think that would be amazing. Anyway, um, I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next one. Bye!